Hey YouTube, this is the aim routine that I used to play every day when I was grinding the rank 1. It took me about 20 to 30 minutes to play, and I wanted to say the first 3 people to join my Discord and show proof that you beat all of my scores, I'll coach you one of your VODs for free. Now I'll go through each scenario and explain why it's good and how to play them. Alright, so bear with me guys, I haven't played Kovacs in a couple months here, but um, I'm just going through the first one, WW6TS Reload. I think this scenario here is really good because it's like a wide wall scenario. Um, and you know, this kind of helps like when you're flicking from angle to angle and uh, hel helps you get like a little bit of better micro adjustments and stuff like that. So when you play the scenario, I would say don't worry too much about the accuracy. You can probably speed up a little bit. Um, I'm a little bit slow right now, but when you play the scenario, just focus a little bit on the speed and go for like a good flick. You see how like I'm not instantly shooting. I'm just flicking first and then like going for a little bit of aim. Um, so yeah, this is how I would play the scenario. 139 is the score to beat for that one. So this next uh, scenario is centering 1180. I like to play this one just because it helps with smoothing out your crosshair a little bit. Uh, I want to say it's really that good for like tracking training. It's more so of like just getting your crosshair a little bit smooth. So when you do end up tracing corners, um, it's pretty good with that. So uh, I say just relax when you play this one and try to follow the target as much as possible. Wow, okay, it's been a while since I played that one. The score to be on this one is uh, 12,000. Before we go any further, I just wanted to say an aim routine is really good to help you get the raw aim down, but it's really not that important for Valorant. Uh, what's more important for mechanics is how to peek, and you can check out my last video uh, related to that. This next scenario I'm a pretty big fan of for micro adjustments. Just because the targets here you can see are really small. Um, when you're playing this one, similar to the first one, try to go a little bit quicker. Accuracy is important but i would say if you're looking to improve you probably want to go around the 85 percent accuracy range if you're looking at like high score then you can play and try to go for like above 90 percent accuracy but um yeah just flick first micro adjust and good luck wow okay so the score to be on this one is 1244 good luck okay this next scenario floating heads i really like just because it kind of incorporates uh target switching with a little bit of precision and a little bit of speed so um this one you just click there's a variation where you like track and hold down the mouse button when you fight them but um this one you just click and i think it's pretty good okay so the score to beat on this one is 3600 um honestly if you guys just get 3500 that's probably good enough because my score on this one's kind of high And this last scenario called the uh, close fast traps, I, I just like to kind of improve my reactivity a little bit. I don't think it's super good for Valorant, but it's like a combination of like the smoothing and just training reactivity a little bit. So I think it's worth playing. You don't have to play this one too much. Um, a little tip for this one, I guess, is try not to like predict, just react when you see them move. Uh, if you try to predict, you're going to start spazzing. So the score to be on this one is 14,700. Good luck. I wanted to say at the end of this uh, Kovacs playlist, I like to go into the deathmatch, play like three or four deathmatches, and then after that, I'm pretty much good to go. Um, I will say this is just what I used for my aim routine when I was grinding the game. You don't have to use this. You can just do it as like a base point, maybe play less. I definitely recommend you guys play at least some deathmatch before you go. Don't treat the aim routine as like an end-all be-all. I kind of just prefer the aim routine on Kovacs a little bit just because it has numbers. To improve my aim but it's really important that you play deathmatch and improve your movement so if you guys did like this video please let me know what you guys would like to see next in the comments and otherwise check out some of my older videos and join my discord i guess if you'd like thanks for watching